Maybe take the mask off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. You think it's the mask? Yeah. Can you hear me now? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fortunately, right. superheroes it's hard to talk. I don't know how they talk through these masks, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should put like those, uh, the Batman that has those voice thing out of it, like a speaker voice. Yeah, I'm bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, man. So uh, I'm a big fan of Inside the Circle. Uh, it was a great movie. I especially enjoyed all the uh, comic and superhero references. And it turns out that you are actually, besides uh, actor writer, you're actually um, a comic book artist and creator yourself, too, right? Uh, I, I do. I'm not an artist. I'm a, I'm a comic book creator myself. I'm okay. a writer. Uh, I love comic books. I don't know if you can see. Let me put the. I don't know if you can see all this. Yeah. <laughs> I love comics. Uh, I'm a collectible myself. Mm -hmm. So I love the whole genre. So basically inside the circle is uh, has a lot of uh, has to do with my life. Yeah, so uh, I'm always curious about the, uh, you know, the journey of this. So when did you uh, kind of start writing this and get the idea? And because it takes a while, you know, to produce and you get it made, you know? Yeah. I mean, like like you saw, it's, it's an indie film. It's a, it's a film of, of passion with uh, limited resources. But I wanted to tell the story of uh, a little bit of, a, of myself, that I love okay. comic books. Um, I love superheroes. When it comes with, the, with relationships, I'm not, I don't, I don't believe in marriage as um, cultural, socially, uh -huh. it's, you know, it's been indoctrinated, if I want to call it like that. Uh, so I always have this clash of uh, conflict when I start dating, you know, and the girl wants to get married. And I, I, I personally, personally, Omar Mora doesn't believe in, in marriage or, mm -hmm. you know, I believe in what represents marriage, but I don't believe in, you know, signing a contract and all that stuff. So it's always um, a big problem, to be honest. Yeah. So the story is about uh, your character, who's like a web designer, who also loves comics, loves quoting stuff from comics, meets a lawyer, and uh, you guys hit it off. But you're very upfront with it right away. You're like, hey, I don't believe in marriage. And you guys go on these dates, and it's it's a lot of fun watching the ups and downs of this relationship as it goes through this movie, you know? Yeah, it, it's, it's basically, yeah, yeah. Both of them fall in love, and they're actually looking for the same thing, like through love. It's just in kind of an opposite way. and. Uh, she wants a, you know, a classic relationship, marriage, kids, the whole nine yards, and he doesn't want to. So how those, how you come, how how can reconcile reconciliate like true love? Do, do you marry? Do you not marry? What, what's you know what's like what was the middle point to put it that way? Yeah. So yeah, tell me about the journey. When did you start uh, making this movie? And then you know it's finally out now. So. Okay, so we start, I, I wrote this movie around 2017, oh, 16, wow. 16, 17, and then uh, trying to get the finance in place. A lot of uh, was uh, mostly my own money, a lot of credit cards involved. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Did you sell any collectibles off to finance? <laughs> <laughs> I almost, almost. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the worst. This is, this, is, this is my second film, so I wanted to have the story out there and my stories out there. So I just, I said, you know what? Let 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 just let just let just find the money that way. I found a good director, Javier Rodriguez, Javier Colon. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. uh, Steffi Garcia, the the main actress, and a uh, friend of mine. And uh, and let's just put it together. So it took us a, like a one year to put the whole team together. So we uh -huh. shot it in 2018, 2019. Uh, 2019 we finished, and then 2019 to 20 the post production, and uh, 2021 we're gonna release the film. Uh, okay. Soon on video D, VOD. Okay, so there's no release date yet, right? It's for yeah, we, or just we don't we don't we, we had a release like now in March, but then there's a distributor in Canada very interested in the movie. Oh, awesome. And if we got, you know, we got a chance to get them into a, a big, uh, one of those big streaming that they're trying to pitch. So we're just, we're just gonna hold it for, for now, but it's gonna come out this year. Gotcha. All right, so, uh, I mean, it's called Inside the Circle because you kind of put this circle down either rope or even toilet paper <laughs> and where you're supposed to, 
when you're in, you you know, breathe, relax, and tell the truth to your anyone, significant other, or whatever. I, I mean, is that something from you've done in real life or? It, it, it does, it does. I don't do it in, inside a circle per se. That was more a symbol, uh, symbolism. Yeah. But uh, through the years, I'm always trying to be true with myself. And I have this, um, I don't know how to call it. Like uh, when I need to make an important decision in my life, I kind of meditate, sit quiet, you know, shut off all the noise around me and then make the yeah. best decision that it comes at the moment. And it's usually the best one, no matter the consequences. So uh, I wanted to kind of tell that too. Gotcha. Uh, probably my favorite part is when I think you, you guys are having an argument because like, I think she has some sort of thing with her mom coming up, but at the same time is this like Comic-Con coming up. Because so. <laughs> I've been there. It's like, no, I don't want to miss this. Come on. Like, it's, you know. I know, I know. That's, I wanted to have that on the story because I, I have sometimes those those uh, problems, not not too much with relationship, with even with friends or yeah. doing some other stuff. And no, Comic-Con, that's no, that's those five days, <clears throat> that's sacred. You yeah. know, we're waiting for the whole year. A lot of exclusives are coming. A lot of, I I love like art. So mm -hmm. that's when I get my commissions and, and I have comics just to sign them and do like, um, uh, how you call it, uh, remarks on the comics. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, 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 yeah. I was, I, I wanted to say, you know, that's a sacred day. I don't care whose birthday or whatever. <laughs> Comic-Con, here we go. <laughs> I know, uh, they just announced today that they, during the yeah. virtual San Diego Comic Con. I mean, it's not shocking, but still sad, you know. So, um, but yeah, it looks like I, I looked. I looked up. It looks like you've been to you know San Diego Comic Con in the past. You just referenced you've been on panels. Looks like it was LA Comic Con also. Um, so let's get into the backstory of actually your actual comics that you can actually see in the background of this movie and stuff. So, um, one was I think uh, was it on the Unearthed yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, I don't know if you can see that, but that's, this is the comic book I wrote myself. Uh -huh. It's a maxi series of 12 uh, issues. Um, it was debuted in Comic-Con 2019. Oh, and nice. they actually, through a friend of mine, Ryland Grant, they, he got me into a panel to talk about it and the process and how to get this indie comic out there. Uh, the artists are from Mexico, Edwin Estrada, Mauricio Alvarez. I'm from Puerto Rico myself. Mm -hmm. So it's like a, a cool group of latinos make this uh sci-fi sci-fi story that's awesome vampires and aliens i love the whole the whole concept yeah of i love that they look like these like gargoyles i like i mean i used to love the disney show you know back in the day i know i know yeah. that's uh alicia one of the main vampires oh cool um, so i what i think what i love about writing the comic books because comic book is a medium that you can just play a lot with it we went to the Dracula area, we went to the 1950s, we went to the 1920s, then nice. present time. What happened with vampire sucks, the blood of aliens. It's, it's just it's just a fun story. Uh -huh. Well, it's very cool. I, I, I feel like we we all have some stuff in common, you know, our love for comics. I, I, I self-published was one comic for this charity long ago, and we did two release parties when I lived in the LA area at Golden Apple Comics, looks like you did a, a release party. You're also over there with Ryan and at Golden Apple Comics too. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, Ryan, honestly, Golden Apple Comics with us, there has been so amazing, so generous, giving us the start to actually do the release party before. Like that was Wednesday, and then we did the release uh, in Golden Apple Comics, and then we drove to San Diego Comic Con the same day. Oh, one of those, wow. yeah, yeah, it was one of those magical days, like as a fan for me, just to have that opportunity and Ryan, uh -huh. you know, make it happen for us. Very cool. Uh, I looked on Instagram. looks like you have something coming up because something about the, the lost city of Peru or something that you're working on. Yeah, it's called Ancient Explorer. It's a novel that I wrote in the past. I rewrote it and now I'm making it as a hybrid novel and comic book. So oh, cool. it's not illustration per se, like if you don't read the comic books pages, you, you lost the story, it's part of the actual story. So we're working on that right now and um, the art is coming. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited because the, I love art again and the art yeah. is uh, Miguel Guzman in Mexico again and it just, it's just beautifully. They actually sent me like five or six pages today that I need to revise tonight to, to, to make no, to give them the notes, but it's looking so beautifully. Oh, and hopefully awesome. it's out this year, yeah, later this year. 
Very cool. Um, anything yeah. else in the works you're allowed to talk about before I let you go? You know? No, man, I appreciate that you, you know, uh, thank you for the interview. I love seeing you cosplay when you, I put that, yeah. I, I saw the Spider-Man, I was like, shit, I love, I love all that <laughs> <laughs> So thank you for watching yeah. the, the film and uh, I appreciate the, the, the support. Yeah, and I think the coolest thing about the movie is like, I mean, I, my wife, I mean, she's not really into the, much dorky stuff as I am, but like she enjoyed it because of you know the rom com and the relation part aspect yeah. of it, and I enjoyed all the superhero stuff too. It was, you know, <laughs> it was so good, so I can't wait. To, everyone can check it out on VOD some point later this year. Uh, where can people stay up to date? Website, social media wise, with all the uh, I think they can you follow me. The, yeah, the best is Instagram at Mora himself and Twitter. I always put like what's um next and when the movie is going to come out all that stuff when the novel is going to come out and the actual full the, the full trade for the unity is coming out this year too so oh, cool well yeah. maybe some of your comics be turned into movies or animated series down the road that'd be that, awesome. that, that, that's my goal i have a treatment for a tv series for the unity so let's see let's let's just crossing fingers <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right it's such a pleasure to talk to you man hopefully we'll be able to meet up someday at some con somewhere you know yeah yeah